Okay, it is that time. It is fight time right here at the Okada Manila. 12 rounds for the WBO featherweight, junior featherweight global championship. Now, let's meet the fighters. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner to my right tonight, wearing the white with lime green. He weighed in at 121 and 0.6 pounds. Fight record, 12 wins, one loss, 11 wins by knockout. He hails from Windhoek, Namibia, and he is the current WBO Junior Featherweight Global Champion. Let's give a warm Philippine welcome to Philippus Nichumwa. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner tonight, wearing white with the Philippine flag. He weighed in at 121.6 pounds. Fight record, 32 wins, four losses, 22 wins by knockout. He comes from Ormok City, Leyte. He is the three-time Three division world champion, Kabili Juan Marita Leite, Philippines. Here is the one and only John Riel Casimero. Okay, here's referee attorney Top Dawson with the final instruction. One king will be crowned this afternoon on a Saturday slugfest brought to you by Treasure Boxing Promotions in cooperation with Johnny Elorde Boxing. They are fighting for the WBO Junior Featherweight Global Championship. John Riel Cuadro Alaska Semero versus Filipos Energy Nitumbua, the defending champion. My name is James Velasquez together with Rachel Donaire and Donito Donaire Jr. As Casemiro comes out aggressive to open the first round. Rachel, it is important to set the tone in a championship fight. Yes, it is, and I think that you, John Real Casemiro has done that, just that. And Donito, of course, you were slated to face this man, John Real Casemiro. At this weight division, do you think uh, this is a, a place where he can be more comfortable, stronger? He is actually, he looks strong. He looks very strong. And at the same time, he doesn't have to cut the weight that he, he had problems with in the, in the bantamweight. For the defending champion, uh, Philippus Energy Nitomba, that's a key turn that we have to put out here. Energy, yes, you're the defending champion, but you are fighting on your opponent's home soil. John Real is allowing himself, uh, Philippus uh, Nitomba, to feel his power early in this fight, and that is a very important aspect for his fighting style. And Nitomba, undefeated since uh, his professional debut, a uh, unanimous decision loss. But Casimero looking to make a statement early, goes to the body that time. I think an overhand and a body would be good for Casimero to land against the Tumboa. The Tumboa with the high guard coming in, but opens up when he punches. Chin is up in the air. John Riel can time it. Coming up on a minute remaining in the opening round. Both fighters looking to trade early and often. And we don't see this usually where Casimiro is stepping back. Nitumbua is here to fight. Well, let's remember that uh, Filippo also does have that ability to switch. Mm -hmm. So let's see if he does change that in the second round. Great point. He slaps with those overhand, but I think it's the accumulation of punches that he does damage people or his fighters, uh, opponents. 
He's trying to protect himself with that shoulder. Itumbwa. I think John Riel is looking for a big shot to land against Nitumbua. So Nitumbua trying to unload with that right hand. Staying active with the jab as well. Casimero trying to go to the body, but met with that left hook counter by Nitumbua. And that ends. A feel it out first round in its championship time over here at Tokada. Welcome back to the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom as we take a look at some of the highlights in the opening round. Nonita, walk us through what you saw. Well, in the beginning, Casemiro was trying to impose his power, but Natumbua came in actually with a lot of great defense to nullify a lot of the power that um, John Rail let out. Philippe is trying to establish that jab, keep John Rail away. And I think. John Real uh, Casemiro is looking for good timing to catch Natumboa, knowing that his chin is up there when he does attack. Champion, though. Uh, yes, keeping that distance, but looking to be willing to trade if it came to it. As Casemiro lands one up top. Wild punches now coming from Casemiro. Casemiro trying to land the left also. And Itumbo is coming back every single time that Casemiro throws those big shots. Got to watch out, Nonito, for that left hook counter that Nitumbo is throwing every time Casemiro is opening up. And I think that Filippos uh, Nitumbo is looking for that overhand from Casemiro, and that's why he has a high guard going into this fight to protect himself. But again, when he does go to an offense, it's when he is vulnerable for those big shots. So far, Nitumbua, the one pushing forward. Oh, big shot again by Nitumbua. And again, this is something that you don't see with Casemiro. Casemiro usually is the one pressing forward in all the fights that we've seen him, majority of it. Casemiro, look at the chop him down, has been going with that left hook to the body on multiple occasions already. And I think that's what they need to do is to break him down to the body to open up the top. As you know, I always love the investment into the body early on. Mm -hmm. And with Pilipos, uh, Nitumba jabbing and pressing forward, because the thing about pressure fighters um, like Casemiro, who likes to throw wide shots, mm -hmm. is to smother those punches. And he's doing the right thing by pressing forward with the high guard to smother the big shot from Casemiro. Under a minute remaining in the second round. Nitumbua Nonito has done a great job staying in front of John Real, despite John Real trying to dance away, step away, and that prevents him from creating like awkward angles. That's correct, because he feels that Inside, he has the advantage because of John, John Real's way of punching, which is a wide shot coming from uh, John Real, which, again, you can smother to lessen the impact. Itomba looking to fire away after hearing the 10-second warning. Casimero again to the body. Let's see if that pays off towards the later rounds. Back in a moment. I feel like uh, Nintuungwa was doing amazing as far as controlling the ring. The thing is, he's trying to set up that chopping right hand. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems to me that it's more of a slap. It's very quick, but more of a slap. Even as his jab is, uh, his actually, sorry, his left hook is more of a slapping left hook. What I see is coming into this fight, Casemiro is very confident. Yeah. And w whether it's overconfidence, or, or just confident that he has, because I know he has a tremendous amount of power. And sometimes when you are confident, you, you tend to look past an opponent, you know. And, and with Nitumba, Nitumba's coming in there with, with great certainty, and, and he's pressing forward with great defense and, and smothering 
uh, Jen Rios, Casimiro's uh, punches. John Real bobbing, weaving, looking for an opening. Again, ducks under and goes to the body. Ooh. Great shot by Casimiro. Nice shot. There you go. I believe that's what John Real was looking for. And that body shot. Crowd coming to life. Oh, Etumba answers. That's smart by Casimiro, not getting too trigger happy. Oh, but Etumba connects. And Etumba is just pressing and pressing, and it can be very tiring when you get fighters like that. And I think it's it's a similar fashion that that um, another African fighter that uh, fought. John Uriel was supposed to press with a heavy high guard. Mitumbo again pressing the action, moving forward. But that uh, combination by Casimero rocked the champion in this round. And the thing about throwing a lot of punches is they tire you out a lot. And I think this is why. Mitumbo is just on a high guard, hoping to tire Casimiro down a little bit. But with that high guard, he is exposing himself to those body shots that Casimiro has been using. And I think that Casimiro should be using those body shots to open up the head, like I mentioned earlier. Under 30 seconds remaining in the third round. Bout scheduled for 12. Great body shot by Casimiro, and I think that's what he should focus more a lot. And of course, Natumba should be focusing on the jab and pressing forward like he has. But of course, with 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 Casimiro's style and punches, it's a dangerous territory. Almost a simultaneous exchange. Another action-packed affair, and we'll be back for more. Round four. Overhand coming from Casimiro. Again, uh, round number four, bout scheduled for 12. Good push jab to set up the straight. And I think, like uh, Rachel said, uh, investing in that body shot is going to be a big help for Casimiro. But John Real. He's uh, ranging him. He's finding that distance so he can throw and unload that, that right over, uh, overhand. Oh, look at some. I guess Natumba is having a little <laughs> bit of fun with the crowd and more concerned with the crowd than I think, fighting. I think Casimiro is doing a really good job by setting up with that jab. Everything that, that he has power rather than just keep throwing it um, without, without um, setting up. And right now he's throwing that jab, using that jab. Stiff arming with the jab and throwing an overhand or setting up the power shots. Good push. Um, I thought I saw it look like he was trying to kiss him in there. <laughs> Might have. We would you have never to see know. that on the replay. You never know. <laughs> Coming up on a minute and a half remaining in round number four. Casimero looking to take more control in round number four. And I think he's controlling this, this round a bit more with setting up the jab and not allowing Natumboa to press forward. I was actually going to say I would love to see an uppercut right, uh, right between the guard. Right. Oh, got tagged there by that left jab. Ready. Jab by Natumbua and a little, little straight in there. Well, the champion staying active. Oh, good jab by Casimero as Natumbua was stepping in. And, and uh, Casimero is doing a great job. Oh, setting up again with that jab and an overhand to land on Natumbua. But he's fighting smart at this moment. Oh, nice left hook by Natumbua.
There's that body, body shot. shot. And Tumbo is still trying to do that chopping right. I think this is a really good uh, look for Casemiro setting up the jab and throwing the overhand and the body along with it as well. Let's see if those investment shots uh, make those hands drop. Round number four in the books. We'll be back for more. Uh, Nonito, walk us through again what you saw in that previous round. Well, the body shot was definitely something that he invested on in that round. And the jab, while, while not just throwing big shots, but he was actually setting up his big shot behind the jab. If you're just joining us again, my name is James Velasquez. I'm third wheeling, actually, with <laughs> <laughs> Nonito and Rachel Donaire. But always a pleasure to see you guys. Um, obviously, uh, uh, Rachel, now that we're towards the middle rounds, are you hoping to see the results of those uh, investment shots that you've seen from Casimero? Yes, I definitely am. And the thing is, is that Nitumba, you know, he... He is trying to keep him at a distance, but John Casimiro is doing a good job of circling around the ring, bobbing and weaving. And using those jab yeah, behind to throw those big shots. Again, body shots, investing in those body shots. Casimiro, sort of a weight and bait. Again, body, body, you could hear it from a mile away. Those shots you can hear from Rojas Boulevard. <laughs> One thing that Casemiro does have is a heavy hand. Another one. This time going up top with the left hook. Nintumbo just trying to throw. Anything out there? Oh! Hit flush shot. Real Casemiro. With the right hand. He's been trying to land that. See, this is the same one that he was doing earlier, but the other ones, John Riel was able to slip. I, I think that Casimir needs to go back into the jab or even just putting that jab out there in front of Nitumbo's face. You got to give it to Nitumbo. He's taking these shots pretty well. Mm -hmm. well I'm just going to point that out, yeah. 100%, you got to give it up to him. Those shots from Casimiro's are very devastating, and yet Netumbo is taking them, especially those body shots and the overhands from Casimiro. Oh, one, two. I heard By that Netumbo. one. Yeah. Well, look at them trying to trade body shots. Yes, and then body switch for it body. Up. Body for body. Ooh. But notice, Nonito, that every time Casimiro lands to the head, to the body, uh, you see the defending champion answer back with a 1-2 or a 1-2-3. Oh, nice oh, shot. Oh, overhand. Yes. That's exactly what Casimiro has been waiting for. Oh, Casimiro. Oh, saved by the bell in this one. What an explosive end to round number five. Saved by the bell and we'll be able to recover for one minute. Let's see if that affects him in the next round. So it, it's, it's sometimes disheartening for a fighter that when you put in all that work in that round and they get away with the... Oh! And oh! oh! He went out. Hitting the tumba, tumba Hitting the down tumba on the down. mat. Getting counted. His legs are wobbling. Is he going to come towards the, the, the ref? And the defending champion has been knocked down. Casemiro. They're allowing it to go. Casemiro Cas going in for the kill. Casemiro going for the kill. He's trying to get the distance to be able to hit him. Tumba was Tumba's out. covering up. Trying to hit him with that. He's trying to save his save right now by holding John Riel Casemiro. He's wobbly. He's wobbly, Nonito. He's just one punch away. Just one punch away. I think an uppercut will do this one. John Real just needs to get that distance to be able to fire his shot. Oh, look at him. Look at He's him. Reaching. Almost out on his feet. Almost out on his feet. He's reaching in to try to clinch John Real from hitting him. Hey, he tries to get a left hook in. 
and the barrage of punches that John Riel is throwing. The champion just swinging for dear life. His right leg is out. It's barely bending the He knee. is just a punch away, and he has no more power. We still have half of the round left. He has no legs. He's barely keeping himself up. But how can Casimero capitalize, Nonito? Again, just using that jab, push him off with it, and then going through in between those shots or in between those hands. Use feints, get him to, to, to react, and then wherever that opening is, take it. Another big shot. Oh, now somebody's about to go down again. But I think the champ is Oh, that was a recovery. good body shot. Casimero has to capitalize here. A minute remaining. There's Let's go, John Rail. His corner is yelling. The defending champion looking to stay on his feet. His legs are locking out, though. His balance is off. He's trying to survive the last 50 seconds of round six. Give it to the defending champion, the toughness to stay on his feet. Good shot, and I think those body shots, he needs to work more on those shots. And then coming in underneath, in the middle of Natumba's hands. But Nonito, of course, you, you don't want to punch yourself out. You don't want to gas out. Of course. Natumba with a one-two, trying to keep him away with a jab. 20 seconds left in round six. He's probably going to survive this. Unbelievable. That's a lot of heart coming from Mitumbua after getting hit by a big shot that Casemiro threw. Well, Casemiro can't be careless. He is saved by the bell. Wow. Give it to the champion. What toughness, what grit, what heart. We'll be back for more. All right, Nanita, walk us through the sequence. I think... I think going into this, Mitumbua was very confident in beginning the round. Then he got hit with that left hook, and he went out, and he was very hurt. Unfortunately for Cuadro Alasto, he wasn't able to capitalize and finish the job. I was surprised. Mitumbua got up. I don't think anyone thought he was going to get up from that. Here we go, round number seven. All right, did he get his legs back underneath him? You know, Philippus in the last round had very wobbly legs. Couldn't establish his balance. Now Nitsumbo is throwing jab, trying to faint that he is okay. Because I know for sure when you get hit, it doesn't recover that fast. <laughs> I was just about to ask you that. Like how, how long or how short is the recovery time when you get hit by a bomb like that? Especially coming from Casimir with the heavy hand, I was surprised he was able to get up. And I know that will last him till tomorrow or even the whole week. <laughs> oh, but Casimero, though, getting tagged, can't be careless again. I saw him taking deep breaths, Rachel, in his corner. Well, sometimes you get so over uh, um, excited that you're throwing so much power. And I think that's what he was trying to do because it was only a punch away yeah. from the previous rounds. He put in a lot of work last round. Nice. trying to measure him. And Nitumbo throwing that long range jab, trying to get the distance this time around. Also trying to keep John Real Casimir away from him. John Real needs to cut, uh, cut the distance again and be able to be on the inside so he would be able to land more of his punches, his distance. Not he still don't have his legs. If you notice how he's hopping, he still doesn't have his legs. Mm. I actually believe that if John Real moves around the ring more, utilizes the ring more, it will be extremely hard for Ntumba to follow him at yep. this point. His legs do not look right. You're absolutely correct on that. Lateral movement would be the key and shifting away. Did that body shot just hurt him? I mean, there's the last one when he was hurt, he got hit with a good body shot. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's hurt with that body shot. Although that left jab connecting for the defending champion, Nitumba. Now looking to load up that overhand right again. Definitely Nitumba is here to fight. Oh, clean shot. John Real Casimiro has to be careful. 
in those exchanges. You don't want to be at the tail end of his jab. You know that if you're at the tail end of the jab, you're going to be right there for his second hand. Absolutely. Under 30 seconds remaining, round number seven. Who would have known he would survive that shot? <laughs> Here we are ending another round, but at any moment, then Janurel can land another shot like that that can totally end the fight. Big swing and a miss there for Casimiro. 10 second warning, round number seven. Casimiro <laughs> looking to push towards the ropes. No needle apparently called it. <laughs> devastating one at that now two rounds after that knockdown is that enough time no need to for the defending champ to recover I mean he's recovering really well because he's trained for this but at any moment he can go down and he won't he won't get up if he gets hit with those shot again nice combination by John real nice body shot again now Rachel you see him setting up those power shots exactly and that's what we needed him to do. You can't just throw it at, at just whenever without there actually being a target to, to hit. You waste energy like that. You get tired. And that's um, something that you do get excited over, especially if you have power behind it. You just forget to set up at times, especially hurting Anitumo the way he did early on. Granted the toughness, though, and the heart. Of Filipos Ngitumba staying on his feet, surviving, and looking to thrive in round number eight. Janriel looking for setting his big shot again, while Ngitumba now is coming back and being um, confident. Oh, nice yeah. shot there. You can see also, Rachel, uh, Casimero is rolling yes. those punches. Exactly. So every single time that he, uh, that Natumba throws the right hand, you see Casimero roll with it and then rot uh, rotate out of that situation. So it's harder for Natumba to follow through if he misses that, uh, the overhand right. No need to those details. Uh, those are the things that I love about this sport. It's, it's a science, <laughs> you know, and a lot of things, again, going back into it, setting up the punches like General just did. He threw a jab before anything, just, you know, not just throwing those big bolo shots that he's done. Mm. But there is a technique to a lot of things in boxing. Natumboy getting worn for a back of the head. And General going. Netumbua. Oh, nice shot by John Riel. Oh, good straight by Netumbua. They were both throwing a straight, well, uh, both rights. Straight from Netumbua and overhand for John Riel that missed. Ten second warning. Netumbua connects with that right hand. Jab, jab, straight. He's actually doing a great job by setting everything up behind his jab. Oh! Oh! oh. Wow, he survives it again. Yet again. He wasn't, he, John Real Casimero wasn't able to follow up on anything. Oh, John Real Casimero with the body hook, and that landed the last hook. I, I think the Tumbo is just going for broke right now. And at the same time, Dan Real is trying to go for the same thing to stop this fight. Nice but, body work. But like you said, those body shots. Casimero again, just closing the gap here, but cannot be careless. Natumbo slips on the QR code. <laughs> <laughs> Filippus, you have to point your camera, not step on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice combo. Rushing in, leaving himself open, has to be careful in case Casimero counters. Oh, nice shot. But I guess he was rolling with it still, talking about Casimero. This guy has a lot of energy. 
Natumbua. Yeah. Energy Natumbua. That's why he's oh, called. Nice body beautiful shot body by John Real. That's a beautiful body shot. You can hear it from all the way back here. Yeah. A minute and a half remaining, round number nine. That exact same way that John Real keeps rotating to the left side, like I said. Oh. Nice shot by John Real Casimiro. Tied Good up. Counter. We have half of the round again left. Let's see what happens. John Real catching his breath a little bit. And definitely he needs to play behind that jab like he has to set up the big shot. You know, again, being so excited about things, it can tire you out. Especially every shot that you throw are power shots. Casimero trying to bait him with that heavy movement. Body shot again. I believe that'll pay off in a bit. You saw Nintumba take a really big deep breath. Yes. When they broke that clinch, yeah? Yes. The referee breaking up the, 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 the fight right away to keep the action going. Three rounds to go. And again, another <laughs> furious finish. Uh, Casemiro lands a big shot. It's always towards the end, Donita yes. and Rachel. Exactly. I'd rather see. I'd rather want to see him set up shots earlier, and of course, have that happen. We did have that happen when he first knocked him down, though. Oh, no, that overhand almost landed. That would have been the end of the night. The day. We're still in the afternoon. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> the end of the afternoon. <laughs> Double left uppercut by Casimiro trying to break through, blitz through that defense. Natumba pressing forward. He's going to want to have John Real Casimiro on his, on his back foot. That's the best bet for Natumba. Yes. Smothering him. If you give up John Real that big um, distance for his power is when he can be very devastating. But if you smother those punches, it can take a lot less, uh, less uh, shots, oh, body shots again. And you keep calling that body shots. It's a beautiful body shot. That's your perfect, uh, that's your favorite uh, punch though, is the body shot. Mm. Well, and you have to, I mean, the way that Nintumbo is throwing, you know, he's throwing his jab, he's leaving his, his, the left side of his body open. Of course, it's going to be easy for John Real to be able to take advantage of that hole. And I'm pretty sure that's something that they focused on uh, during training camp, watching film if they have resources to do so, uh, to research on their opponent's playing style or fighting style. You know, that's interesting that you say that because we were trying to find fight tape on him and it was actually quite difficult. Mm. Yeah, it was very difficult. There to might fight. have been like maybe two that we saw and most of them were highlights, not full fights. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So let's see if uh, that has been something that they've observed or during the course of the fight. In a minute coming up in round number 10. Casemiro just taking a break in this round. But don't 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 be fooled. One shot can end it all from Casemiro. I feel like every time you say that, that's what happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like a foretelling. You can hear uh, Casemiro's corner. That's in uh, uh, Bisaya saying Sumbag. Punch. <laughs> The champion, though, remaining active, keeping consistently it? throwing that jab and following up. Yep, keeping that jab out there. He's trying to keep him away, trying to keep him at bay. And like I said, once he throws that jab and he can touch you, he knows that that right hand is going to be able to land. 
Or we can assume that if John Riel stood there, he would be able to land. But we do know that John Riel has been rolling the correct direction. Yes. Nice body shot to end the round. Both have to be careful. Ntumba has to definitely be careful. Championship rounds. 11 round. Here we go. Oh, Casimero gets hit as he was trying to rush in. With the left hook, yes. I think Casimero might just need to put on the little break to just slow down a little bit and then go all out in the last round. Wow. Okay. Um, Natumba is having a little bit too much fun in that ring. Now, Does will Casimero treat that as poking the bear? I was going to ask that. Is that. Was that a bad idea? The thing is, like I've always said, whenever things like that happen, if you lose your focus and you go out of emotion and anger more than your game plan, it could work against you. Mm. But there's other people that when they get mad, it starts, it gives them more laser focus. Just depends on the individual for sure. The referee falls off. Uh, Were they supposed to start counting the ref? Yeah. Had the referee count himself. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that you're right about that, though. Like, for instance, the Muhammad Ali George Foreman fight, Ali was just pressing mentally into uh, George Foreman, and George Foreman was pissed off going into the ring. And he, he you know, people thought he was going to do and take uh, Muhammad Ali out, but mm. guess what? He tired himself out. Yeah. Tumba is still trying to keep Jarmiel Casimiro at bay. Pushing and pulling around in the ring. You gotta give him credit for staying on his feet after that knockdown earlier. Surprisingly, I'm still surprised by it. John Riel trying to throw bombs. Natumba is, is answering back with small shots yeah. here and there. He's actually turning and punching for each uh, counter that he does. Natumba is trying to land a shot of his own. John Riel does a great job of slipping, rolling underneath those punches, moving around the ring. So then he's not just a sitting target for Natumba. He's going to make him work for it. Natumba tries to give some body shots of his own to John Riel Casimiro. John, John Riel Casimiro responds back. You know, in 2019, Nonito, I covered uh, uh, John Riel's fight in Cebu, and he looks like a better, more disciplined fighter today compared to that time I last saw him. He's, he, he's definitely learned a lot. That QR code is... That is, QR code is... It's a slippery thing. <laughs> Can someone, I think they're asking for, they're asking for a mop or just a towel? Yeah, they're or? just trying to say, clean this up. Okay, so we're going to judge who cleans it better. <laughs> John Real Casamero's side or Natumba's side? It's the only problem with those logos that are that big. Yeah. Oh, another furious exchange. Casimero firing away. Trying to end the round or end the fight. And our two warriors have given us a show. Will that knock down and accurate for John Riel Casimero or will the toughness, activity, and heart of Filipus Nitumbua, the defending champion, be enough for him to retain his title? Well, this is it. This is it. They're going to go in there, and it's going to be like the first round for John Riel Casimiro. John Riel Casimiro comes out already swinging. Was able to roll under everything that Nintumbo tried to keep him off. He's trying to corner him now. Ranging uh, him with his, his left hand and then firing off with his right. And Casimiro it actually looks fresh in this round. Big shot up top, but he counters. Tries to hit John Riel with a, a right of his own. Misses, but he got out of the corner. Again, the heart of this champion, Rachel and Nonito. He definitely came into fight, that's for sure. I don't think he was going to come to the Philippines to give his belt away, so I give him complete um, 
complete respect and applause for coming to another country, uh, the opponent's country, and standing on his feet. If you're going to take the belt away from me, you're going to have to fight me for it. But that's the, what he's made it. The adjustment, Rachel and Nonito, after getting hurt, decided to box from a distance because earlier he was trying to trade with Casimero. That's right. You know, um, with him being in, in tremendous shape, oh, Casimero. Uh -oh. they're, they're just going at it. There's always that puncher's chance. 100%. Yes, and you have to remember that Natumba has 11 KOs to his 12 wins as well. Good morning. Natumba coming in. 50 seconds left. Can John Real do it? The defending champion still looking spry. Oh, oh. Was in the back of the head. What will the referee say? That has been happening throughout the rounds, though. This is not something that's new. It's more so the fact that it was, oh, they gave him a one-point deduction for back of the head shot. Now will the defending champion go for broke knowing that there was a point deduction? And he has a knockdown against him as well. Yeah. He's upset at the referee. <laughs> Ten seconds in the final round. Rules that a slip. And we go the distance. 